So the sun is a problem yet again. Really wish I could put up curtains, but there's no curtain rod in my room. So cherry on top of my day. Hi everyone. So today I am going to be talking about Shania Twain and just like saying five of my favorite songs of hers and like why they're my favorite songs. So yeah, let's get into this. So Shania Twain was originally named Eileen Regina Edwards and she is from Timmins, Ontario. It's like up north, kind of like a small place. I've never been there. But yeah, she was born in 1965. She is 52 currently. And she was my idol growing up in the 90s. So I first heard her, I think, probably I was like three or four, I want to say. Like, I don't remember like the exact time I heard her, but I know... I was very young because the first time I heard From This Moment On, I was like, that's my wedding song. I know it's my wedding song and that came out in like 98. So it's been a long time. She's basically what I looked up to growing up until changed to Taylor Swift. Like I literally transitioned from Shania to Taylor Swift. It was like an easy transition because they're both country pop and yeah that's how that happened I remember listening to her music on the CD player I know it's old school who has a CD player anymore and we would me and my friend would be in the driveway and we'd just like dance pretend we're making like a music video we would lip sing um I would have CMT playing on my TV in my bedroom and I had like my Barbie dolls and like one would like pretend like she was singing and dancing Shania Twain. That was like me. I was very music influenced growing up. I could talk about Shania Twain for like ever. Basically, I love most of her music. It's just like it's all so good and she has so many songs. So, but we're going to try to cut down to 5. So, yeah. In no particular order, these are the five songs that I love by Shania Twain. So the first one is Dance With The One That Brought You. It's a classic. It's like kind of before she was like overly famous. Like it was like before the Come On Over days. Um, I think the music video was super cute. I have like a soft spot for old people. Like literally like I will cry. If I see, like, an old person and they're struggling, I'm like, old people are my thing. And, yeah, so she has, like, an old guy dancing, and it shows, like, him when he was young and dancing with Shania. And then he's old now, and it's just, like, I love the contrast and, like, showing people aging. So, yeah, that video hits me. Uh, the next one is What Made You Say That? This song was very popular because in the music video Shania Twain wears like a like a top that like shows her belly button I don't know what that's called like a midriff or something I don't know um and that was very controversial back then because that was the first time that's ever happened especially in country music they were like what is she doing and yeah so like it got talked about a lot I think it's a super cute song I love the lyrics I love, like, the vibes, like, kind of, like, beachy vibes because of the music video mostly, but I love it. It's a great song. It just gets you, like, in the right feel-good mood, and it's about, like, saying I love you for the first time, and it's kind of like, whoa. The next one is From This Moment On, as I mentioned earlier in this video, that is... The song that I picked out when I was very, very young to be my wedding song, and I haven't changed my mind, and I never will, because I'm dancing to Shania Twain from this moment on, not the one with the guy singing with her, just Shania Twain's version. That's, like, the best one. Um, 
there's nothing else I could say about it. It's just like literally my wedding song. What's not to like? If you don't like your wedding song, you know, I think that's a problem. Next one is Love Gets Me Every Time. Uh, it's a super cute song. Again, feel good, feels, vibes. Um, I love the lyrics. Like, you weren't ex expecting to, like, fall in love. You were, like, living your life. You were fine being single, blah, blah, blah. You know, fine paying your own rent, taking care of yourself, going on dates with guys. Then all of a sudden, you fall in love. Because that's what happens. And it happens time and time. Like, when you're not expecting it, you fall in love. And I think it's like a cute message in a song. It always makes me feel like happy inside. The last one I am going to pick is another love song. Just because, I don't know, I really like her love songs. Like, they're classics. Like, she is basically the Taylor Swift of the 90s. There is no denying that. She did the country thing, talked about love, romance, relationships. And then she went pop. And then she was like country pop. And it was still great. Basically, yeah, Taylor Swift has even said that Shania Twain is like an influence for her. No one needs to know right now. That was a very tough choice. I was like between that and any man of mine. I was like, oh, which one? The music video I have really enjoyed growing up because I love the movie Twister. And it was kind of like the Twister, mo uh, Twister music video. Because I love that movie growing up. Like, I remember, like, right now specifically where I had that movie. Like, I had the VHS right beside Jurassic Park. I, like, it's, like, a vivid memory. Like, the lyric, we'll have a little boy. No, we'll have a little girl, a little boy, a little Benji we call Leroy. That lyric always stuck with me because it was, like, you can name your kid Leroy or Benji or whatever, and like you could still call him something else, like a nickname. And when I was thinking of children names, like since I was like, I don't know, 15, um, I, I tried to do that, like, oh, we'll call this kid this, like let's, I don't want to say like my kids' names, because like I feel like I'm always like scared someone's gonna like take my names, but like let's say like a popular name that's like, you know, everyone has this name, Andrew. You can call Andrew Andy. You can call Andrew Drew. You know, like, there's so many, like, different things that you could do, like, just, like, nicknames from that name. Or, like, when people have kids that are, like, William and they call him Bill. How is William and Bill even connected? You know? So stuff like that. Or, like, Charles and Dick. That's not even, like, close at all. Like, I'm just going to call my kid Charles and... Everyone will call him Dick, just for fun. Like, those names aren't even, like, close to, like, each other. But that just goes to show, like, Leroy and Benji aren't close to each other. But it's just cute. It's just something that happens in this world. And I like it. Stuck with me. Those are the songs that I like by Shania Twain. And there's so many, 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 many more that I can't even, like list them. It's like there's so many classics. I just, oh, this video is so hard. But next video will probably be hard as well because this is something that I'm gonna do and hopefully I get better at it. But let's be honest, if they're an artist that I love, how could it get any easier? You know? But yeah, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below and the bell notification. Bye, Novas. Let's go, girls.